Hello and welcome back to another Art of War Card Master event. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Jin 300 tactic. Uh, now, just to explain what I do in this process is I look to just do the cheapest option every round. So it's 300 every time you go for it. I always go center. I don't know what it is, but I prefer the center as my only choice. Sometimes it works great, as you've just seen. <laughs> We've actually had two gins in a row, which is probably the best I've seen in a long time. And yeah, so the, the main goal here is you're using 300 gems uh, 25 times. Uh, in the Cardmaster events, uh, I know a lot of people do feel that it's a lot less uh, profitable, profitable per shard uh, than the wheel. But you can actually get some good results by doing this trick, which is just using the 300 gems as your options for 25 turns. Uh, stick with the hero you want. In most cases, it's the, the first hero at the front. In this case, it's Jin. But you may want to do it across multiple heroes because uh, in this one Kraken is there some people want to go for him um, because he's very handy for Infinity War but I would say that you want to stick with a system of choice because as soon as you start going oh well I'm not going center anymore because I've had such bad luck stick with what you got 300 pick the same one as you go with because ultimately it's predetermined anyway um, it's not randomly generated as you go along in the game, it is predetermined every time you click that 300 or 600. Now, by doing this, it is costing you uh, 7,500 gems. Now, being very lucky with this round, uh, so the rate I'm getting is, is very good per shard so far. Now, you do have a choice once you get towards the end, once you've done 25 uh, of the cards when you're on the last one if you're lucky enough to get gin in your first spin on the last go uh, you do have a big choice because you will be five um, you'll be five goes away from unlocking the bonus that's at the top because when you do it 30 times you can actually pick um, a hero card uh, as an option so this does add um, obviously the gems up so you are going to have to buy five uh, lots of 600 gems which is obviously 3,000 gems to be used to get another guaranteed legendary legendary hero um, now I tend to do this if I am close uh, to unlocking another hero on the last turn so if I've uh, flipped the middle one on the last turn uh, and it's not Jin. I will keep going five times to get to the 30 because I will guarantee get a gin at the end uh, from the prize above. Now, if I don't get gin in those five, then you have big decision to make. Do I go further and end up uh, spending another 600, another 600, another 600 to get the next gin in that final card uh, layout? Obviously, every time you do that, that is increasing the, uh, the gems per shard average uh, price that is going to increase it now we will be looking at the results uh, of uh, this entire event uh, shortly and going through what we've actually gained and what sort of average we actually made um, but i'm pretty sure <laughs> this one is going to be the best one i've run so far and i've done a couple of videos uh, already that are very similar to this i've done dracula 300 one um, and then prior to that i've done um, a much bigger drop of uh, gems on the card master system uh, because we're going for my main hero um, so I would say if you're looking to do this trick stick with what you've got stick with the 300 don't focus too much on the 600s early until you get to the last go like you see here I am using them to get past that mode and there we go we got the gin uh, finally on the eighth flip unfortunately on that so that cost us a little bit more gems so we're going to jump into the stats now and we're going to see what sort of results we got through this process. So here we have it, everybody. Here are the results of the entire event. 
Um, so just a breakdown of everything we've uh, received uh, during this card master event for Jin as the main focus. So um, let's look at some of the uh, the troops we had. So we actually got uh, four of the rare uh, items, which is the um, ballistas. Then we got uh, three epics, which was the priest mages. Uh, we got the same amount actually for the legendary. We got uh, three of the meteor golems. So, like, I'm very happy with the meteor golem amount here. It's, it's a good good amount, I'd say, um, for what we uh, hope for in the card master. If we don't actually get gin every single uh, flip, now gold is probably the one that comes up the most. Uh, this one is actually a lot less than usual. Um, my previous one, I had. I think some like eight the eight hundred thousand gold. So obviously it hit gold a lot more, and it is the one that comes up the most for a lot of people. Um, but this one only four hundred eighty thousand uh, gold. Then we actually got a lot of uh, black scrolls. Got twelve in total on this one. Medals wise, uh, now this does include the bonus that you get at the top, which is uh, two hundred, I believe. Uh, so we had 420 plus that 200, uh, a total of 620 medals, which is great because medals are uh, really, really hard to get hold of um, and are quite finite in the game. Uh, so the more of those you can get during Cardmaster and other, other events, the, the better. Now, the big thing is how many gins we got in this event, which without a doubt is unprecedented. This is the most I've ever, ever received in the Cardmaster uh, events I've done and recorded previously um, and since I've been playing the game uh, this year basically started in January this year now we got seven gin cards which is amazing now I will specify as well that I did spend above um, the usual amount of what you do with the 300 tactic which is 300 tactics 7500 gems now I have spent more but it still means that my average per shard is still amazing. Uh, I spent an extra 4,200 gems, um, taking it to a total spend of 11,700 gems on this event alone. But if we divide 11,700 gems by seven gin shards, the average gems per shard was just a mere 1,671 gems per shard which is amazing it's better than what the average is for the for the wheel event um i think usually you're looking at just over 2000 um for a good wheel um average but the wheel does tend to have better secondary prizes uh, than card master but i cannot complain with this event this event has gone really well um previous events have been quite good as well i've uh, i can't complain as long as you can get I'd say on average, if you're looking to just use the um, 300 tactic and just spend 7,500, if you can get two to three of your hero in the card master, then it's a it's a good result. Anything plus above that is great. If you feel like you need to push it to use in not just the 25 flips, but using the extra five flips at 600 um, to take it, um, to get that guaranteed one it is sometimes better to do that because your average gems per shot is better off you going those extra five than sticking back uh, and just doing the the 325 times uh, so i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this video i hope that it's been informative i hope you've liked the results of this one um please if you've had a good or bad uh, card master events yourself please pop your events in the comments below i'd love to know how you've done um, and any suggestions uh, for uh, other content you'd like to see uh, if you want me to continue doing more card masters more wheels uh, or even some other events uh, please let me know in the comments um, and i will see you guys in the next art of war legions video